This is a Barrel Roll News Network game review for Tomb Raider by Square Enix and Eidos for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Square Enix and Eidos played it safe by doing a soft reboot of the Tomb Raider series with this game. In one instance, if the game did poorly, you can go with it was just a game to show Lara Croft's beginnings, but if it was well received, it could be the new launching point for the entire series. What's going to happen from here is hard to say, but this is what I thought about the most current Tomb Raider release. The game's story revolves around Lara Croft's first venture into the world of Tomb Raiding. Before the game, she has been trained in the art of combat and knows how to get around a landscape, so her adeptness at doing what she does is not just a stroke of magic that goes unexplained. Her and her traveling companions are searching for a mysterious island and they just so happen to find one. One that destroys their boat with a storm and leaves them stranded with a bunch of crazy people. Lara gets the ever-loving butt kicked out of her as the game progresses, but there is a definite sign of growth to her and her abilities as she unravels the mysteries that surround the island. Now I'm not going to spoil anything, so I'm just going to say this. The game makes an important move in the storytelling by deciding whether or not the series can take on a mystical aspect or if all the goings on are real life disguised as the supernatural, a la Scooby-Doo, thus setting the stage for the next games. The game's graphics are outstanding, and this game was a pleasure to play just for the scenery alone. The island that you're on is big enough to support a variety of different landscapes, and the tumultuous weather allows for snow and jungle levels to be available to you. Eidos really worked in the little details that add to a game like this, and it shows. Sound is what you'd expect from a game of this magnitude. Solid voice acting, nice ambient sounds that bring you into the game world, and an excellent soundtrack that fits the game's mood. While it's not something that stands out as the best sound in a game to date, it does its job, and it does it well. And now for what's probably the most important aspect to a Tomb Raider game, the gameplay. This game is leaps and bounds ahead of any of its predecessors, taking old staples and refining them, or taking elements that have worked in games like Uncharted, and giving them a slight tweak to make them their own. Much like Uncharted did with the old Tomb Raider game mechanics when it first came out. Lara still does all the things that you're used to, climbing, shooting, jumping, and puzzle solving. This time, however, her arsenal of tools and weapons has grown. From a simple torch, to a climbing pick, to grenades, and more. There are only four long-range weapons in the game. A bow, which you acquire early, a pistol, not two, a shotgun, and a rifle. The coolest part of these weapons is that most of them serve an extra purpose or two other than shooting people. Along with the ranged weapons, Lara can take people on hand to hand. A few presses of the melee button and a quick time dodge event and you take down the enemies in a brutal fashion. Every so often you run into a campfire, and there you can fast travel to other camps, upgrade your gear with points you get from hunting animals and looting enemies, or pick new skills you get from leveling up by gaining experience which is gotten by finding treasure, reaching checkpoints, taking out bad guys, and more. In all honesty, there is a lot to this game, and it is a blast to play through and traverse the island to uncover the mysteries with Lara. Lastly, to stay true to the name of the game, Lara discovers tombs while searching the island, and after solving a puzzle or two, she raids said tomb and acquires a large amount of experience points. I sincerely hope that this game gets a sequel. It was a great game to play through, and I would love to get another experience like this out of a Tomb Raider game in another few years. If you are on the fence about this game, it's time to hop onto the side that raids tombs, like a croft. Thank you.